This video describes the principles of PicoLock, a new method for measuring the wavelength of monochromatic light in a monolithic photonic integrated circuit. We will show you how this design can achieve picometer resolution in the device less than a quarter of a square millimeter. Manufactured using simple and well-established production techniques, PicoLock can easily be integrated into single and multi-channel tunable laser modules. We will show you how judicious choice of quaternary materials can significantly reduce the temperature sensitivity of picolock, such that it rivals contemporary air gap etalons. Finally, we will illustrate how picolock can be calibrated using software such that the effects of both predictable and unpredictable manufacturing tolerances are accommodated. The picolock concept is patented by Farfield Photonics and is available for license today. PicoLock is based on the principles of far-field diffraction between two monochromatic beams. To illustrate this, consider the simplest case of two identical lasers launched into a slab waveguide region. These will interfere with each other to create the well-known diffraction fringe. Since these lasers have identical power and phase, they interfere constructively to create a bright central fringe. But what if the phase of one laser is inverted relative to the other? In this case, the fringe maxima will be replaced by minima, and vice versa. For phase differences between 0 and 180 degrees, the central diffraction fringe will become skewed in the far field region. By measuring the extent of this lateral shift, we can determine the magnitude of the phase difference. We can do this by embedding a small array of photodiodes into the far field region. Using off-board signal processors, the magnitude of phase asymmetry can accurately be determined. How can we use this principle to measure the wavelength of monochromatic light in a monolithic optical circuit? First, we must split the input signal into two identical twins. This is straightforward to do using a 1 by 2 MMI coupler. At a certain distance along the structure, two near identical signals will be imaged, and these can be captured by two single mode waveguides. When projected onto a slab waveguide region, these signals will interfere with each other to generate the same far field pattern we saw in the previous example. Next, we must devise a method for relating the wavelength to the phase difference of light exiting one waveguide compared to the other. We can do this either by altering the refractive index of one waveguide, using techniques such as band gap engineering or lateral mode confinement, or more straightforwardly, by designing one waveguide to be slightly longer than the other. Using this design, when monochromatic light is sent through the asymmetric interferometer, it will diffract into an asymmetric far-field fringe. Now, as we increase the wavelength, the magnitude of phase retardation will decrease, causing the central diffraction pattern to shift. By measuring the extent of this lateral shift, we can deduce the magnitude of phase delay and thereby wavelength. The final component of PicoLock is a simple array of pin photodiodes. Here, these are modelled using an absorption layer deposited on top of the ridge waveguides and isolated by narrow band gap blocking layers. What is the sensitivity of PicoLock? Differentiating the phase equation, we find the sensitivity of phase asymmetry and thereby far field fringe deviation is simply and directionally proportional to the difference in waveguide length. Increasing the resolution of picolock is simply a case of increasing the magnitude of delta L. For the indium gallium arsenide phosphide materials used in this example, we require a delta L of around 90 microns. For the weakly confined waveguides used in this simulation, we have chosen an interference waveguide length of 1.2 millimeters. This is a compromise between the desire for device compactness, 
the requirement to keep the minimum bend radius of the longer waveguide above its critical threshold, and the obtuse angle limitations of the beam propagation model. Picolock is extremely compact. The device just shown has a total area of less than a quarter of a square millimetre. This represents less than 1% of the total area of a 10-channel photonic integrated circuit. That concludes our tutorial. In summary, we have shown that PicoLock is a monolithically integrated wavelength meter with picometer resolution. This eliminates the need for costly etalons and associated couplers. PicoLock is bitrate, optical power and polarization independent. It is extremely small and is manufactured using conventional optical waveguide techniques. We have illustrated how PicoLock can be designed such that its temperature dependency is comparable to standard air gap etalons. The simulations shown in this video were produced using the BeamProp package from RSoft. For more information about PicoLock and to discuss licensing opportunities, please visit www.farfield-photonics.com or email us at inquiries at farfield-photonics.com. Thank you.